right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. My boy Christopher the Conch here. And we are Break Room Blitz, baby. Blitz. And we just came back from seeing Lego Batman, baby. Batman. Well, this side right here. I have to say, guys, you guys complain about Batman forever, but I don't see the oh, big yeah. deal. Yeah, it's called huge. nipples. We got, we got a cartoon movie. <laughs> That's what I gotta tell you. Nipples. <laughs> yeah, we got some nipples shooting at your face. That's you not what you think you would use your freaking bat credit card <laughs> to replace nipples. those, okay? Yeah, no, let's keep it PG. <laughs> Alright, just kidding, guys. <laughs> I love the movie. Oh, Batman yeah. Forever sucked. I never need to watch that ever again. Even though I did like Jim Carrey, though. Yeah, Jim Carrey was on that. But, anyway, yeah. um, so let's do the rundown real quick. We got Will Arnett as Batman. Would have never thought he would be able to play Batman. Um, Zach Galifianakis as the Joker. Mm -hmm. We also got Michael Cera as Robin. And Rosario Dawson as Barbara Gordon. And there's a bunch of other people in there yeah. playing a bunch of other characters. If right. you'd like to know who else is in there, go ahead and look it up. Google um, it. There's way too many characters. Honorable mention, Conan O'Brien is the Riddler. Oh, Sorry, yeah. got to toss that on him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> he's barely in there. I but, love Conan. <laughs> all right. Um, so what do you guys think? Was this better than the Lego movie? Totally, yeah. I, I really liked it. But totally, liked totally it better. Dude, I was like laughing nonstop. Like, even when they showed the credits, like, Warner Bros. <laughs> oh, I mean, Warner Bros. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know what they do, but that's a pretty cool logo. Wow, <laughs> better like, than the Lego just, movie. It's, it's really hard to go back and forth. I really like Lego movie, but this was just, it was equally great. But it, I think I laughed more in this one than I did Lego movie. Oh, yeah. My face hurt totally after a while. I was just like, huh. <laughs> you know what, guys? You know how I come to like? No pants! That's like classic. I feel like that's going to be in pop culture <laughs> that's forever. It's going to be one of those, you know, like t-shirts, like funny t-shirts. <laughs> like, let's get this party started. No pants. You know? <laughs> like, man. Like, they better be wearing green underwear. <laughs> no <laughs> pants was just awesome. I, I loved all the previews that they showed. And I was, could not wait. I was like, this better be in a goddamn movie. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, some of, these, some of these previews that they give us, trailers, uh, lie. Yeah. Right, show us like little snippets, but they they put it everything in there. I think. Yeah, I don't have, I have any issue with any of the trailers. I feel like they put everything great. in the movie. Yeah, I, I was like then thoroughly some. surprised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot going on. So, how do you guys like the plot? The plot was great. You know, it's like a relationship, Batman, Joker, and then like all these other things going on. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, the plot didn't give away because there was a lot of things that were like in the pop culture. Right. Mm -hmm. Like the whole what is the Batman Batcave password? <laughs> yeah. You know, Iron Man sucks. Man sucks. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so we get a lot of those little things, but like the plot, I was wondering what you guys felt. Yeah, I mean, they it stayed true to the comic, you know, Batman and Alfred in the mansion, and then like here comes Robin, and but it shows and it makes fun of like okay. What, what is Batman doing when he's Bruce Wayne and he's not being Batman, you know? He's eating lobster, he has a whole movie theater to himself, watching Jerry Maguire. Oh my god. He's like, what did he say? You complete me? He's like, blah! Yeah. Uh, the yeah. plot wasn't bad, actually. I liked the plot. It was simple. Uh, well, it was different, too, because they, they had two plots. It's almost like the Joker one, yeah. and then Batman being bad, in a, in a sense, so like, it was it was different, but I liked it. It's the realm of DC, but yeah. mostly Batman's world. It and they really Batman tossed in a bunch of characters that are in Batman. Condiment Man, like, are you serious? Oh, yeah, the Condiment <laughs> Man was a very good Condiment Man. <laughs> I, was, I was looking for Calendar Man. I was wondering if they were going to do Calendar oh, Man. Oh, my gosh. But yeah, Calendar Man's fun. in there. Condiment Man was the worst character ever. And then uh, they also paid tribute to every single Batmobile. And uh, they actually mm -hmm. got that, that uh, I don't know, that one that like is a bat, the one that he uses primarily. I think that's like the new the new bat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the bat wing and everything. So yeah, and and they even had the uh, shark repellent, the bat <laughs> shark repellent. Oh so man, take that that was was awesome. they brought everything within a 60, 70 year span, probably more than that. Yeah. Of, 80s Batman. Of, of yes. Batman. It was yeah. awesome. I'm like, really? Shark repellent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. But that, that, if you guys ever seen that episode where he's like, Robin, get the shark repellent. It takes Robin 30 minutes to get this damn <laughs> shark repellent. I'm like, Batman, your legs should be gone by now, okay? <laughs> he's taking way too long. He does a little acrobat thing to get him to him. I don't know. It was a great, it was a great cameo to put that in there. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. 
Did you guys feel it was relatable to children, though? You know what? There's a lot of, like, you know, right at, right at the very beginning, like, hey, if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. <laughs> I was like, I lost my mind. I started laughing. <laughs> I was like, this is ridiculous. And so from then on, I, I kind of had a feeling like there was going to be a lot of um, adult-themed, uh, you know, comedic value that they were going to throw in there. It's like a lot of old things, you know. It's kind of random to say it, but it kind of reminded me of like some of the new age Nickelodeon cartoons, Sp like even SpongeBob SquarePants thing in the back there. Kids can watch it because of all the bright colors and all the silliness and all the dopiness and the songs, and adults can get something out of this too. So, I mean, it, you can take your kids to this. They're going to probably enjoy it and laugh. Uh, it might be a shot, but uh, it's it's relatable for both adults and kids, I, I feel. I asked because my son didn't actually like it. He was actually ready oh. to go, you know. Um, he did mention, like, oh, Batman, you know, but... He didn't actually like it. He wasn't really into it that much. Mm. How old is he? He's three. He's three years but old. Okay. He likes a lot of the cartoons I used to watch as a kid. Sure. And I, that's what I compare other car or newer cartoon movies to, mm -hmm. is can smaller kids really get mm -hmm. in on the joke? Sure. Like, can they enjoy watching it? Even though they don't know what the joke is. Right. They just yeah. laugh because it's funny. Yeah. Um, he, didn't, he didn't laugh at all. And I was like, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just kind of, that's what I... That's my reference. Like, is this a good kid movie? Right. Is if he can enjoy something about it. Yeah. Um, so those are the things I would kind of ding about. I didn't think it was really relatable. I didn't hear any, like, kids really laughing. They were mostly just adults. Yeah, it was, so, it was a lot of adults laughing. But, yeah, I will always yeah. say that about the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was. It, it is a kid-friendly movie, though. It's oh, not totally, that it's yeah. not a kid-friendly movie. Yeah. It just, they, it might go over their heads, a lot of it. Yeah. Um, and if they don't know a lot about Batman lore, they might not understand. Sure. But, yeah. For people like us who know, yeah, she was hella funny. Born and yes. raised, <laughs> all day. <laughs> Sorry, I also like how he calls the computer. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. 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 <laughs> that Peter. <was> dope. <laughs> I like it. Was so much popular references. It did not seem like it was written by some stuck-up writer. Oh, no. It was like they got everything from what's going on in social media, right. all the you know fan-made videos and all the fan-made critiques. And put everything in there right. so that everyone would be laughing. Yeah, there was things that I was thinking about, and then they just kind of finished. Like I'm like, oh my god, right. this is like hilarious. <laughs> in my mind. Yeah, right. It was it was dope. I, I definitely connected with it, you know, because there's a lot of things that I'm always on the internet looking at uh, looking up something. So it was great to see all those different references all in this one movie. Right. It was great. Should Lego make more of these movies? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I think mean, we, we saw, saw uh, Ninjago. Ninjago, yeah, that was that, the preview for Ninjago looks hilarious. Like, I'm not into any of these movies, <laughs> yeah. but like, you know, ever since that first Lego movie, like everything is awesome. Yeah. You know, it's and like, they have more songs like that in the Batman <laughs> one. Like they have the friends, the friends or family one. I really love that song too. Yeah, so, I was busted this morning. Derek's like, oh, I knew boy. you were gonna like that song. <laughs> Dang, we're gonna like that song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for it. I'll go see it if they're making it. Yeah, yeah. And then the Ninjago one, it's like the humor. The humor is. It's pretty good. Like it, it's so literal because like that one part that Jago we were talking about earlier. He's like, he's like, you're you you you're, you're my father. You left me. You ruined my life. He's like, I ruined your life. I wasn't even in it. How did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like it's like oh dark. It's like cool. Oh. It's dark, but it's just it's funny too because it's like that's kind of true. That's, that's so <laughs> I like how they they are kind of gearing towards what everyone's into and it's like social media. It's not like written like a traditional story yeah right. and i really like that a lot because then it means mm -hmm. everyone can kind of relate to it in any fashion right you know? well i think the other thing that really makes it relatable so I, I had this conversation earlier but it reminded me of roger rabbit and i know it sounds mm -hmm. weird but it reminds me of roger rabbit in a time where you could bring all of these different characters into a single movie and it's okay oh yeah and roger rabbit bugs bunny and mickey were walking together in this movie we get voldemort we get King Kong, like we yeah. get all these iconic characters, yeah. and Lord it's Rings, okay. Sora. But it also tells you how much how much Lego owns, <laughs> licensing wise. Yeah. So, but it's pretty awesome to see all those characters collaboratively come together in a universe. Yeah, they it's they. Great. I was watching some video about how they got them. They they actually went to these different uh, studios to get those licenses. Can we do this? Yeah. You know, and I thought that was kind of dope that everyone agreed, like for a Lego movie. Yeah. Right. Like, it's going to be fun. Let's just yeah. have fun with it. It doesn't have to all be corporate. No, what about yeah. the contracts? Yeah, contracts. Right. Like, money, money. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 right, so I definitely love that. And, and I think Roger Rabbit is a great it, a great uh, reference, especially to the first Lego movie, because okay. they had all type of genres and oh, all yeah. type of uh, different studios in there. Yeah. This one was mostly just DC, but 
Mm -hmm. um, just to see everyone on screen like that and like not have all these issues. Oh, we couldn't make the movie because right. we yeah. couldn't get the, these license deals. Or yeah. I'm it, sure it, it just opens up a universe. There, yeah. You know, all, all these elements. You know, there, there's Marvel references in this DC right. like Lego movie. So it's great. Iron Man sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Do you guys? Who do you? Who would you pick? Iron Man or Batman? You know what? I don't know why people always compare them to. I would compare Batman more to Daredevil, but Batman more no. I think it's the whole Playboy philanthropist. Yeah. No, Batman's a billionaire. Yeah, Iron Playboy. Man's a billionaire. Yeah, but when it comes down to like Batman, like superhero wise, Batman, Daredevil, they're more in line. No, Daredevil has super. How well? I don't know if I would say. Superpowers, but he kind of has superpowers a little bit. He does have superpowers, yeah. Batman or Iron Man doesn't. Yeah, but I mean, like, okay, both suits very similar, both justice fighters. They don't kill anybody. And we got the Iron Man <laughs> Batman suit and the Iron Man suit. Yeah, True. but I mean, they, they they are like way more relatable. Fine, to me. him and I, him and uh, me. <laughs> Daredevil, I guess, are the same. I personally like Batman's personality. His persona, yeah, more than Iron Man, but that's just me personally. Oh, and I love when they had the DC logo at the beginning of the movie. It's like DC, the Batman, the the house Batman built. Yeah, <laughs> it's like screw you, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Yeah. I will honestly say I'm, I'm I'm everyone that knows me knows I'm all Marvel, all Marvel, I'm all, except when I'm it Marvel. comes to Batman. Yeah. I'm all in for Batman. He's by far one. Of, he's the comic book I did read growing up, and one DC comic book, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you picking know, Batman over Iron Batman. Man? Oh yeah, Iron Man can eat it. DC, <laughs> DC <laughs> even, cartoon even Captain movies. America, <laughs> Iron Man can eat it. Yeah. <laughs> DC cartoon movies are way better than Marvel cartoon movies. Yes, they or are. Or cartoons in general. Thank you for that fact. So, that, that, that's why I'll... I don't, I don't know where Teen Titans and that. all that, so that, that's, what I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to give to DC. <laughs> DC, yeah, animated the movies. Okay. Yeah, animated right. movies compared to uh, real life movies. So if you guys have to rate this movie, what are you guys rating it? I'm gonna give it a ten. I was laughing the whole time as a comedy. Ten. That's a perfect movie. Ten. Yeah, it's a perfect movie. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it as many times as they show it. So I mean, I, I love it. it. It hurt my face so much. I was like, <laughs> I didn't laugh that much. I did. I will give it an eight. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the eight. I will watch it again. I will recommend it. Uh, there were some things I felt like it was kind of long, but I still laughed, so it was okay. Uh, let me give it an eight. I was in a little bit of a debate because like, part of me was like, was there anything I didn't like about the movie? Um, I'm giving it a 10, too. Um, mm -hmm. I went back and forth for a little bit, but there's too much nostalgia. Yeah. There's too many great jokes. The songs were great. The characters were fun. I mean, there's too much about this movie. I guess you can kind of say the only thing I didn't get out of this movie was my hero to villain complex. And that's what I was going back and forth on, I but I didn't a lot of need villains. it. I didn't need it. It was yeah. just too much of a fun movie, so... It's getting a ten out of me. They, they they put a twist on the hero to villain. Oh, you know, it's it's like you know, it's like fine then I'm out of here. If you if you don't hate me, you know, so <laughs> yeah. if you don't love me, then we were, like you can't have me. <laughs> right. I thought that part was was great. It was a a, a good uh, flip on the Joker. It was a yeah. good flip. Yeah. And and you know what? The only thing that uh, I didn't understand was that like they opened up the uh, portal to that other realm, and uh, General Zod never came out. That's true. Oh uh, yeah. They did show him though. They showed him in the scene where they did the overlook, and Zod was walking out. Like, I saw him. Okay. And I was like, there's Zod. And I was like, all right, but... <laughs> so maybe that leaves it open. You can't, you can't fight Batman, okay? <laughs> like, Batman, that would make him less cool. Batman was the coolest well, character on screen. You yeah. can't put Zod in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Zod is like, you have to put Superman. But what I'm thinking is, like... Why not see if Batman can take out Zod quicker than Superman can? That'd be hilarious. Because he can totally shove it in his face like yeah, Zod. He's like, hey, look, I beat Zod just <laughs> quicker than you. Yeah, everybody really hates. It's like, eat it, soups. <laughs> I have to bring a neck to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I understood. So that should be a point out for you. Nah, it, it, it would be, but that's a nitpick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nitpick, and I'm not going to do that to this. All right, guys, so that's our review. You should definitely be going to see this. All right, guys, so let's bring us to the question of the day. Who do you think will win in an actual battle? We got Batman or Iron Man? Oh. Everything you know about Batman, everything you know about Iron Man. Who's going to win? Oof. I'm going to say Batman because Iron Man's not even going to know what the hell happened. <laughs> he doesn't even know what's, what's going on. Suit's malfunctioning. Yeah. He don't understand why Jarvis ain't working. Right. Computer. <laughs> take out his computer. <laughs> 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 
that, that needs to be a skit in that movie now. Yeah. Iron Man's like, I'm on it. Peter, take care of his Peter. <laughs> right, that, that would be dope. They Peter fight. That. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm Adan. Christopher the Conch. And we're Break Room Blitz. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Let us know what you guys think. All right, we're out. All right, guys. Take care. Peace. Peace.